you know, I performed a floristic analysis of the college woods, and a floristic analysis is an attempt to locate and identify every single plant species in an area. And that had been done before 25 years ago by Virginia Crouch, and then I attempted to re-perform that in order to compare the differences over time and see what's changed in the college woods. So a collecting curve measures the number of collecting trips versus the cumulative number of species that you find over, those, over that time. When we compare Virginia Crouch's to mine, what you see is that in 112 collecting trips, Crouch was able to find 545 species. Um, in my graph, it was 300 collecting trips and we found fewer species. So what that suggests is not only are there fewer species in the college woods, but the species that are there are harder to find. Um, which implies an overall decline in abundance throughout the entire college woods. There was a sense of urgency because I had been working on lady slippers for a long period of time since I came here in 94. So I had been following a lot of populations in the woods and about 10 years ago I started seeing them dwindle. We went in some populations from 200 individuals down to four. So pretty drastic. And coupled with that, I saw very obvious evidence of deer browse, where deer had eaten most of the population. So I knew something was happening, and I felt that we needed to document it to make people aware before we lost too much. I think that deer are something that we know is a problem, but I don't think we have begun to, to really know the extent of the problem and the swiftness of the problem. So if you think of the college woods as just a small little data point, but you look at all the other areas like the college woods that also are being overrun by deer, I think we have a major, very fast problem that we have to get under control. So when you compare the composition of species in my floristic study with the study of Virginia Crouch, you see that I wasn't able to locate about a third of the species from this previous study. And moreover, when you take abundance into account, 50% um, of species are declining in the college woods. Well, the bottom line is with the decrease in the number and the diversity of trees in the sapling layer, the college woods won't be able to re regenerate its, or replace itself over time.